Hello everyone, uh, Jody Heath with JodyHeath.com. I'm going to show you in this video how to take a screenshot uh, of anything on your screen, turn it into a, an image file, uh, and save it as a JPEG or uh, a ping file or a PDF, whatever you want to save it as. Um, I have a lot of clients that I bring in uh, to this business and uh, you know try to show them how to make money online and you know a lot of these basic skills that I take for granted I need to show them sometime it takes a lot of time so I like to send them to a video that can show them how to do it but I did a search there's not really not a decent video in YouTube that gets to the point and does it thoroughly and shows them how to how to you know take a screenshot and save it as a as a JPEG so we're, we're gonna get that handled uh, so you know what you do basically is take any anything on your screen um, and this is uh, just a picture of my website um, you know for the, the plug here but I'm just going to take a screenshot of this so what you do is uh, hit your control key on your keyboard and then hit the print screen key which is located in the upper right hand corner okay and then open any program you could open uh, such as you know you could open um, like a new word document um, you know if you know for some some purposes that that would be okay but I really don't want to do that here so we're, we're going to close that out uh, the simplest thing you want to do is you know just for a picture file is go into your, your menu um, and I'm, I'm on Windows 7 here but just uh, this is uh, I guess I should stress this is geared probably to more more towards a Windows machine but open paint um, and uh, and just hit uh, you can you can do it several ways so so all you do basically is just go up here and you can you can hit paste okay uh, another way you can do it is just hit control V which is what I usually do it's quicker faster okay and uh, you're gonna see if you see something here, uh, that's not exactly what I was taking a picture of because I'm on dual monitors. So it actually took a, a screenshot of both my monitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom down, which there's a lot of ways to zoom, but I'm, uh, I'm going to use the control key and the scroll bar on my mouse. And I'm going to zoom down where I can get a good um, view of the whole thing. And now I just want to get this part right here. Um, that I, This is the part I want to take a picture of. Uh, so I want to get rid of this part right here okay so and this could be in any any image now there's several ways you could do it uh, I can make that a little bigger um, you know you could you could do this select tool and you could just select and copy the part that you wanted uh, what I do most of the time is I do select all which is the shortcut for that is control a okay and if you see this little when I did Control A, this little dotted line went all around, basically selected the whole image. And then you can left click and you can move this thing around anywhere you want it. Okay, so I'm going to move around the part that I want to work with, which is right here. Okay, uh, I'm going to move that around, and I'm also going to I'm going to decrease the size of the whole palette, which is right here. So now I can zoom back in and I can see uh, a good portion of what I'm working with on one one screen okay um, and um, and now you can you can kind of work with this I, now I could save this whole thing as one big picture you see it's pretty big it's 1800 um, by a thousand uh, I could I could reduce the size of it by resizing um, and then I could change it to say you know say a 500 size which may be sort of good for Facebook or something and I can lower it like that you know and I'm gonna go back and, and by the way if you want to know how I'm going back you can you can go backward and forward with your edits by either the arrows like this um, or you can actually let's see what's the shortcut for this one yeah control Y what I usually do is just just do control Z okay um, or you can do control Y and it goes back and forth okay and you can you know go back and change any of the edits that you made just like that save you some time um, so you can always reverse it but uh, moving on so let's say that I wanted just I, I wanted to take a picture of just part of this okay now I could do several things here I could do the control a thing again 
and then take my mouse and I can just box it up this way okay and then I could take this part here and I can drag it here okay like this and now I have my picture and now I could come up here I could do save as and I can pick the, the kind of file I want to save it as. Most people are, gonna, are just going to use JPEG. Um, probably more universally you know, appropriate for most applications because you save it for, as a BMP file. It's just going to be a little, little larger um, in size. Uh, the, the file size is going to be larger and you're not going to notice much difference for, for most purposes. So just, just save it as a JPEG. Um, so I'm going to change that again. The other way that you could do that um, let, let's say that you just want to take this little piece right here um, just uh, take the select tool right here so I just left clicked on that and then you just take the part that you wanna you wanna take a picture of um, which could be say say roughly about right here okay and then copy it which I use control C for the shortcut uh, or you can go up here and you know, if you forget and do the copy thing um, and you can copy or cut it, it doesn't really matter right here. Um, and then ne the next thing to do would be now you have it copied, it's on your clipboard basically, even though you can't see it. Just click new. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to save it if you know what you're doing. Or you could open up a new paint file. Um, you know, if you want to keep this one active, we'll, we'll just do that. But uh, I'll show you both ways. Uh, you can open up a separate paint file right here. Um, and then uh, zoom that down and what you want to do is change the size right here down as small just about as small as you can get it and what will happen is is you go ahead and paste it control V and you see it it'll take up um, whatever you know it'll, it'll it'll make it'll automatically size the thing for you basically um, which is, is a short version of that uh, the other way we could have done that is we're, we're in the one that we're um, that we just pasted in and we already copied this so what we could do is just uh, open new uh, basically we're just gonna put a new blank screen up don't save and sometimes it comes down here sometimes <clears throat> it's up here but we're just gonna make this you know fairly small smaller than what you're pasting in in, in pixels and then do control V and then here's your image okay and then from there all you have to do is just save it save it as I'm gonna choose a JPEG put it in whatever file you want call it whatever you want and you're done okay it's simple as that um, and, and again the reason we did that is let me just go back to the main one here uh, well, actually it won't let me so I'm, I'm just gonna do another little screenshot real quick um, let me just screenshot this uh, control print screen come back in here let's just paste the whole thing in here again and again, the reason, you know, the reason for doing this, uh, for resizing and all this stuff, is you don't necessarily want want number one. It takes up a lot of space. Okay, uh, you don't want to just save. Let me see some. Let me get back over here. Okay, let me show you the whole thing. You know, most of the time you don't want to save every single thing on your screen. Okay, you just want part of it. Okay, so now. Instead of saving this whole big file, it's like 2,000 pixels wide. It's it's probably a I don't know, probably you know, I don't know, you know, probably 50. Uh, I don't know. It, it's a big file. Um, you're gonna save a lot of space, and you're just gonna get down to the part that you want. You know, and from here you can use all these little elements to like to make little screen uh, capture pages, whatever you want to use them for. Okay, and it's a pretty decent quality photo. Now, later on, I'm going to come back and show you a program um, um, called Snagit, which, which kind of minimizes a lot of these steps. You kind of got to learn a new piece of software, uh, but you can actually you can be, be on a web page, um, and you'll be able to just select an area that you want to copy and then open it into the program. But um, the reason I did this on Paint, most people have Paint. You don't need to buy anything if you have a Windows machine that's already there. And, and you, it really gives you the basic skill level that you need. You need to know how to do a basic screenshot, you know, capture, paste it into a file, save it as a JPEG or a ping or a PDF. You need that basic skill anyway. So learn this. Later on, I'm going to do another video on Snagit, and uh, and you'll you'll be able to to you know take this 
the skills you have here and just integrate that into Snagit and everything is gonna, gonna run real smooth for you. So hope this helps. Um, so Joe, it's Jody Heath again from jodyheath.com. Um, have a good one, bye.